Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. It's California Election Day. <laughs> California, don't fuck this up. Please. This is our our chance to get this tyrannical idiot, this slick back demonic piece of shit out of office. Here is our chance. It's been served to us on a rusty platter, but it's been served to us nonetheless. What are we going to do? Like I used to say, and I think I still might have some merch that says that. What are you going to do? California, what are you going to do? They brought out all the big slutty guns. Like uh, Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare, you know, the politician who went horizontal so her career could go vertical. She came back to her old stomping grounds of California, where she used to pick gray uh, pubes out of her teeth from Willie Brown. She came back to campaign for this dummy. She's a vice president of the United States. Yesterday, pulled out an even even bigger gun. He probably didn't know where he was, but they brought him out anyway. Biden is perverted. Our grandpa in chief was out here in California campaigning for Gavin, bang your wife Newsom, to keep his job. Yes, the same president of the United States who has Afghanistan on his hands and the pandemic on his hands and our economy on his hands. But he carved out time to come out here and campaign for Gavin Newsom. What a piece of shit. You couldn't do a video? You couldn't do it till, hey man, I'm busy. I got a lot of things going on right now. Here's a little 30 second clip. They could have put up a backdrop so you couldn't see that he was in a nursing home during a pudding party. Why didn't he do that? Now, am I wrong? Our president's like, they just have these schedules, and no matter what's going on in the world, they have to do certain things? Or does the president have the power to say, uh, no, I'm not going to do that because I have more pressing issues. Here's a little video. Nope, he came out here. So what does that tell you about the other things going on in this country? Are they as important or less important than him coming out here to California for a day? Whatever, they did it. But today's the day, people. I've already voted. I turned my ballot in in person. I did not trust the postal system. Of course, you all heard about a couple weeks ago, they found a guy with like 300 ballots in his car with guns and drugs. And then uh, a couple days ago, they were having problems with Republicans showing up to vote and them telling them, oh, I'm sorry, you've already voted. Well, how the fuck is that if I'm standing here in line to vote? This is no surprise. They are trapped animals and they will gnaw their own paw off to get out of it. Meaning they will do anything they can to secure and hold on to their power. Even if they allow our state to fall into the depths of shit and filth and poverty. I could take you to a, play, a part of this town right now. You better not walk around barefoot unless you want hepatitis. B or C, take your pick. But this is who, like I showed you, people right down the street from my house. Matter of fact, there's a dummy right across the street. You can barely see the sign, or I turn around and show you, with signs that say, vote no on the election. Vote no on the recall. The dummies are alive and well. We need to combat them. Today is our opportunity. So the question is, what are you going to do with your opportunity? Hopefully, the right thing. Hopefully, I will get him, be getting back on this phone tomorrow telling you about the wonderful victory of Larry Elder. Speaking of Larry Elder, the other day I talked about him having a meeting on Sunday with uh, that actress Rose McGowan who came out and broke the whole Harvey Weinstein uh, sexual harassment slash rape scandal. She was a victim of his as well. Of course, when she came out saying that, immediately blackballed, blah, blah, blah. 
But the uh, interview that they, well, I wouldn't call it much of an interview. It was more of a press conference. But it was about 45 minutes long, so I didn't watch the whole thing. But I did watch the part about her saying that Gavin Newsom's wife, you know, the same Gavin Newsom who's up for recall today, his wife called her and asked, was there anything they could do to make her happy? Meaning, what can we do to keep your mouth shut about this? But this is the same Jennifer Newsom. I don't remember her or her other, she has some hyphenated bullshit name. But she, this is the same woman who didn't want to be called the first lady. She wants to be called the first person, the first partner of California. She's so, so concerned about people's feelings and believe all women that she got on the phone to try to keep one of these women quiet to allow this pervert to reign. This is what we're up against. What's California going to do? I think we know probably what's most likely to happen. California is going to drop the ball. These stupid granola headed dirt fuckers are going to vote to keep this piece of shit in office. That's what I think. That's the realist in me. That That's the, the shredded wheat side in me. Remember that commercial as a kid? You had the frosted mini wheats. And on one side wasn't frosted. It was just the, the wheat. And that was the serious side. <clears throat> it was like some guy in a suit. And the frosted side was a little kid wearing the guy's suit. It's too big on him because the frosted side just want to have fun. Well, the wheat side is telling me that California is going to fuck this up and we're going to have Gavin Newsom. But the frosted side is telling me we have a chance, people. <laughs> let's, not, let's not drop the ball. We don't even have to vote for another person. Uh, uh, um, Larry Elder just needs about 19, 20%. What we have to do is vote yes on the recall. That's what's going to get Newsom out of office. So who's going to win? The wheat side or the frosted side? I guess we're going to find out. But watching the uh, interview with, or the press conference with those two, um, she seemed credible. I mentioned that before, just seeing little clips here and there, but hearing her speak, you know, what I watched 20, 30 minutes of it. She seemed credible. She didn't seem to be lying. I hope she was. She probably wasn't. Harvey Weinstein is a fucking pervert. Gavin Newsom and everyone in his orbit is a piece of shit. So she probably did do that. I believe it. But you don't hear any of the mainstream mediocres jumping on it. Imagine if that was Larry Elder. And it came out that his woman was campaigning for some pervert, trying to keep him out of trouble, trying to keep the women quiet, the victims quiet <laughs> you already know how that shit would go you would get sick of hearing the name larry elder you would get sick of hearing this woman's name because it would be everywhere all the time but since the perpetrator's not on the right side they don't give a fuck again this is served up to them right here you got a credible witness saying that somebody tried to keep me quiet and keep this pervert in operation. They don't want to touch it because it's not on the right side. It doesn't benefit them. It's not about us. What did Dr. Phil say? It's not about you. It's not about us. Should be. We're the one to put these fuckers in office. But we shall see. Today is the day. Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. What is California going to do? We're going to find out. And hopefully something we don't have to find out is whether or not the future of America is looking worse every day. And unfortunately, right now, it is. Those who are observant can see that something bad is going to happen soon. If it does, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and supplies to get you through hard times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed with four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you might need it sooner than that. So don't wait. 
Go to preparewithjericho.com and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You'll save 25% if you act now. That's preparewithjericho.com. Don't wait. Do it today. And I tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to get in here with my beautiful wife because my kids are at school. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Make sure you get on JerichoGreen.net and click that link tree. I am Ger... <laughs> I'm not Jericho Green. <laughs> I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.